Welcome back to See the Story. Thank you yeah. so much, Banja. <laughs> well, that was like really it. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, we get to know what is actually um, the thing that uh, we haven't seen like in yes. each and every day. Not only like not every day. Uh, in our life. Now we are still with Bagja Prawira here to talk about Silang.id and the importance of sign language. Now Bagja, uh, let's move into um, the topic of Silang.id again. How long did it take you to develop Silang.id? Um, because uh, I also know how difficult it is to develop some tech companies. And um, I also want to know what is actually the biggest challenge mm -hmm. because in the everyday world, uh, tech companies has its own challenge and it's not actually only a few, lots of challenges. Yep. But in the meantime, you also work and develop something to be used for deaf community. How, how, uh, how is it possible for you? So actually the biggest challenge in building Silang was in, educated, in, in, in education. The first one is, is in education and the second one was in access. So why, why I put education as the number one? Because in, deaf, in the community, so we know, that, we know that access needs to be put in all kinds of sectors and then not many people know about that. And this accessibility it's important because they, the deaf people, could not be included, could not get included to, uh, in, in, to not get inclusive and not uh, get involved in their in most sectors in in uh, in daily life. So, so in the end, they didn't have any, they, they didn't get any jobs mm -hmm. because of because of the education for accessibility is uh, but hasn't ready yet I to accept them. Okay. And the second one, uh, in the workplace, there, uh, there always and uh, there always have this sense of, of discrimination, have mm. this form of discrimination. And that was the, the most, uh, the most problem and the most, uh, the most issue that have been faced by deaf people so many times. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bagja, so we've heard about discrimination from your explanation. What are the stigma or stereotypes that are often faced by the deaf community? The biggest one was, yeah, most people, mo uh, every people, most people doesn't know, apa, uh, assume that uh, deaf people uh, cannot do anything, cannot mm. communicate with with them, and could not get uh, could not get involved in some topics. But when you but when you look at the history, so yeah, that's uh, so it it continues my explanation about the two most common problems that that we face, which is accessibility, which is education for the hearing mm. people, and then accessibility for the mm. deaf people. I see. So yeah, so. Uh, usually, people assume first, you know, just and then, and then uh, more people assume too much, and then it becomes more of a stigma. Stigma that that deaf people is also this is is also uh, mute, mm -hmm. doesn't uh, uh, couldn't be able to speak. But not all of but not all of us are uh, able to, uh, are muted. So that's why. Uh, in the deaf world, there are two two uh, categories and uh, two groups of people. The first one was uh, deaf people who could use sign language, and then the second one was was the deaf people who could use Indonesian language. Ah, I see. I see. So, the, uh, so the second group were, was the people that that only communicates by writings or reading lips, and the third one was uh, a group called uh, bilingual mm. deaf people because oh, yes. because they could use two forms of language in their daily life. Okay, so writings and also sign language. Uh, but how many percent, if, if we talk uh, about percentage, how many percent of the deaf community in Indonesia that could not, uh, could not do sign language? 
Well, 5%? not until 5%. Okay. was 5% below. Uh, so Silang got, got the information, got the data, uh, and we analyzed the data that uh, So the the literacy, the the literacy understanding for the deaf people was only at around eight percent in the world. Oh, okay. Yes, I in the see. world. In the world, it's called not more than eight uh, percent people, deaf people in the deaf community in the world that could not do sign language. Okay. So um, we were discussing earlier about uh, people. Uh, tend to afraid of something that they don't know. Yeah. That's why the first uh, step that you taught us was not to panic. Yes. Now, although awareness about deafness is gradually growing in Indonesia, uh, we can still uh, see, like what you said, discriminations yes. in the world. But um, from the deaf community side, what can the public do to change this? Mm -hmm. So that's why Silang, wa, uh, Silang fa, apa, was built in the first place. Mm. Because we know, we know those two perspectives, the, the needs of the hearing people and also the needs for the deaf people. So we don't always, uh, always focus more on the deaf people, on the perspective of deaf people. But, but, uh, but, to, but to give a solution as to how we could connect the two worlds together. Yeah, be, uh, and through that programs, uh, we advocate. We that, that I explain, we could focus more on collaborating with many uh, many institution and also uh, and also uh, institution and companies to to uh, to hand in hand one another and then to to build the a more inclusive society all together. Okay, in Indonesia. Oh, yeah, see. that's a great vision indeed. So, uh, what's next for you, Bagja, and your Silang.id community? I mean, uh, what's your biggest plan after this? So, we have planned to to ha to to further develop our our technology side in this platform. So, we need with the application of Silang mm. because. Through this application, it's, it, it will be a chance for many people to learn sign language and at, at any time, at anywhere, at any possible moment. Mm -hmm. And the second one, we are planning to to uh, to further collab to further collaborate uh, with 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 potential companies and potential institution uh, quickly, because yeah. Deaf people need access for public facilities, for instance, in hospitals, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. uh, collaborate with uh, transportation institution, mm -hmm. and yeah, they and, and they need to provide access to the deaf True. people. So that's the first step be in the future. Okay, so oh, yeah. that is a very yes. uh, good objective uh, in a way because. What Bach just said is Silang.id is here to actually advance the collaboration between um, the company and also uh, all the job providers as well and also the country itself to actually advance uh, uh, the development of more inclusive society. Yes. Now, uh, Bagja, since uh, we have you here, would you mind to teach us uh, to communicate with uh, sign language? Yes, because, we've been waiting for it. Yeah, yeah we want because, to learn. Okay. Uh, here in the show, we've been learning to, uh, uh, to speak in many languages uh, in Southeast Asia as well, like Vietnamese, yeah. uh, Thailand. Tagalog, yeah. Thailand. But now we need to know how could we communicate with uh, our deaf brothers and sisters. Yes. Let's say, uh, so, yeah. how to say my name is blah, blah, blah. Maria. Yeah, Maria and Hans. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, more, the topic is about introducing. Yes, ourselves. yeah, introduction. So this hello. 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 
Oh, uh, let me introduce name. myself. My, oh, okay. my, my name. Name is. So, and after that we we spell the letters of. Oh, okay. okay. M. So for Maria is A. like this. Oh yeah yeah I learned this. Oh. Yeah in high school yeah M A R I A. Oh, Yay! I got it right. Hans. Oh the so, Hans. This Hans. A N S. Okay. Oh wait, H A N S. Yay! Ah. Nice to meet you. Was this nice? Nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Ah. Nice to meet you. So if we if we uh, thank you. Yeah, if we uh, practice it from the beginning, my name is my is. Okay. Mm, name, my name. Name. Oh, is. sorry, sorry. My name is. Uh, yeah, Maria. Ah, Yay! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Ah. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. Okay. So, um, how do we say, uh, let's say, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening? Wow. Three of them. Yes. Yes. We we need to know that. Okay. Yeah. This is good morning. A uh, good morning. Good morning. The second one was good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good after good afternoon. Oh, it's the sun. And then the third one. Good, good evening. Evening. Good evening. evening. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. 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 Uh, good, good morning. Morning. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good, good evening. Good evening. E. Yay. Good night. Oh, good, good night. Oh, good night is like it. sleep. Yeah? yeah. Good night. Good night. Oh, okay. Because why? Because we follow the the rotation oh, of the sun. sun. Oh, nice. oh so, okay. so I got it right. The sun. The morning. Morning. <laughs> afternoon. 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 Evening. Evening. The sun. And then that's good night. Oh, that's good really night. cool. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. I like uh, it. So yeah, every sun has its own philosophy. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I okay, see, okay. I see. Okay, now um, we learn, uh, we also learn how to say thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's say, I want to say, I love you. Yes. How about it? Like this. Oh, I love you. Like this. Because why? Because why? this is the combination I? of I, I L, L, love, and Y. You. Whoa! Oh, I love you. This is really oh, cool. Like, like a I metal, metal you. sign. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm close, but it's a different one. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you. Ah, oh, okay. I really like it. But, yeah. but there are one other, uh, one other sign that could use for Love, love expression you. in Bisindo. In Bisindo. Okay, what is it? It's like this. Oh, I love yeah, you. Yeah, this is very simple. And a, and the thank you, thank you. But when when you say you love me, I, it's the other I way around. You. Okay. You oh, love, me. You love me. I love you. I love you. You, you love, love me. me. Okay. Yep. How do you say I love you too? Oh. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, opposite like this. direction. Yeah. Oh, okay. We say same. Uh, I love. Oh. oh, it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, okay. Let me um, let me do from the tippy top okay. what you just My taught name. us. Yeah. Um. Uh, hello. My, hello. My, My name, name is, is Hans. Hans. Marie. Hans. Yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, and good. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, nice to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. I love you. I love you. Oh, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon. Okay. Good morning. Yeah, okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Good night. Good night. night. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm gonna say. Oh, oh, wait. Good night. Good night. Good night. No, no, no. It's like this. Good, good night. night. No. Oh, oh, over there. Say, okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, the other way. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good evening is. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good oh, evening. Good. Like oh, it's not mm, like, but, no, like this. Yeah, like okay, the okay, okay, so, okay, okay. Because we still have the sun. Yes, yes, like yes. The sun so, is setting. So we cannot shut it up. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Okay. It is okay. very interesting. Yes. And also, uh, Bagjet, thank you so much thank for so creating much. silang.id. Thank you so because much. Because it is not only very um, uh, suitable for the deaf community. And it is also very useful for us to understand the yes. deaf community. Yes. And thank you for being the bridge for, for us uh, to your community. Thank you so much. And so we are much. waiting for more development from silang.id.
Sure. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Welcome. Best of luck.